Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Tarot Hard. Where we tarot hard with tarot cards with yours truly. The Tarot Bard. Today we are going to be doing a connection reading for the Zodiac most likely to bring their private grievances to class and take it out on the students despite being a professional educator. Fuck you. Mrs. Hibamusa. Is it our fault that your husband hasn't slept with you since 1995? You frigid bitch. The connection reading is used to assess the relationship between two individuals. In this case, Virgo and their partner. The first card I placed represents you, Virgo. The one to your left is your challenge. The one to your right belongs to your partner. The card to their right is their challenge. The middle top card is the uniting force that will keep you together and sweep away all obstacles that may prevent you from achieving a full and trusting connection. Let's begin. Virgo. King of Cups. Diplomatic. Kind-hearted. This is a man whose affectionate side radiates warmth and draws others to him. He is dedicated to his work as you are. And just like him, you must be open-minded and empathetic. Because in these hard times we could all use a good word from a good friend to bulk us through. Hear that Mrs. Musa. You flappy ho. This next card signifies your challenge. Ten of Pentacles. Fulfillment. Abundance. Expect affluence in every part of your life. The journey and all that hard work was well worth it. So be generous. Not only with your money, but with your heart and wisdom. Spread that shit around. Now for your partner. Four of Wands. Consolidation. It seems that you both are like peas in a pod. Similar in many ways. You both hold family and friends in high value. And you both work hard at your designated professions as well as maintaining connections and bonds. I can see how you two get along. Now let's find out what their challenge is. Five of Pentacles. Anxiety. Worry. Illness. This card is a harbinger of hard times. This can take the form of illness, unemployment, financial troubles or rejection. Whatever it seems that is worrying your partner it is no small matter. They are not the type to make a mountain out of molehill. So be respectful of their anxieties and offer a supportive hand or shoulder to lean on. Even if it is just by being there you will be doing them a huge service. Finally, the uniting force that will keep this ship going. The Hermit. Solitude. Meditation. It's time to take a step back from day to day life and focus on the spiritual side of things. When you and your partner take some time away from the fray you'll shake the dust from your eyes and find the wisdom that will guide you to true happiness. Go on a hike together. Meditate together. Or just spend time in one another's company in silence without the hassle of everyday life impeding on your time with one another. You have something here worth protecting. It is a relationship based on trust between two kindred spirits. Standing side by side you will live long and prosper. This concludes the second segment reading for Virgo. Join me next time for the final chapter which will include a crescent reading for everyone's favorite self-explanatory sexodometer. Till next time. Stay enlightened. <laughs>